Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great. And welcome to this new video on the on HiFi or HiFi Finance, whatever you want to call it. Just wanted to do a little update on this. Um, has been very, very bullish for the last, uh, well, what is it? Um, for, for the last, like, um, quite a while, actually, like for the last two weeks, but it actually started, if you go to the four hour time frame, you can see that it really started like in the beginning of August, like then the manipulation already slowly started. Uh, and then it really picked up speed around the beginning of September. And uh, it, it definitely caught up speed on Tuesday, when there also was some bullish momentum from the market coming in and hi fi uh, really got a lot of bullish momentum from that. Uh, but it was already very bullish. Like for example, um, I have my own premium trading group from Selenix Crypto in which I share my own trades as signals. And uh, there's also a chat room full of traders and my trading guides for if that's interesting to you, links will be down in the description. Uh, but there we actually entered hi-fi um when was it right here after this bullish breakout like we entered around 58 cents uh but my, like when we broke down below this level right here at 55 and 50 58 cents i thought well it's just too risky it's better to get out and then after that it started spiking up so it was a bit of a well i wouldn't say unlucky uh, unlucky unlucky i would i don't believe in in luck in trading um, but it was part of a new strategy that we are testing in a premium group and um, there were still some things un un unsure about that. So we were just testing it out, uh, but it was caught in there. And then after that, it continued rallying massively. Uh, and that is also what's going on right now. HiFi is still very, very bullish. Um, if we actually take a look at some, some statistics, which I deem as valuable for HiFi, what you'll see is that the open interest and the volume are still growing. Uh, they have been growing since Sunday the 10th. So you could have spotted this quite early if you just took a look at that. Um, but like I said, it's still at this point in time, it's super bullish. All right. So its main resistance is right here between 1.25 and 1.1. I would say the most likely scenario at this point of time is that it will break above that and get towards that next resistance level probably at 1.5 like when we're entering levels right now which we haven't seen for a very long time i think with hi-fi perhaps never since it's been hi-fi like hi-fi has, ex has existed earlier than this like it was first M mft um and it's not at that at, at those levels yet like you can see right here the the, the market cap right here was just way higher it was around 200 300 million and right, right now the market cap is around 110 million. So these are not all-time highs. Um, and 1.5 would also not be an all-time high. But getting there, because we have never seen those prices with high five, we have to assume that it's probably going to be psychological levels and, um, and, and Fibonacci levels that will cause resistance. So 1.5 is the main resistance, is the main price target for now. After that, we'll start talking about 1.75 slash 1.8. But this is the most likely scenario. And the main thing is, is HiFi is super manipulated right now, uh, which is true. The main thing to, to watch for HiFi right now, I would say is the volume and the open interest, but that's a little bit diff more difficult to track. Once the volume actually starts dropping down and HiFi, for example, also gets some sort of a bearish breakout below, um, its main support level right now is $1. So if HiFi drops down below $1 and the volume also drops down, yeah, then we'll see a huge crash because HiFi at some point of time will 100% crash. But until that time, until the volume starts dropping down, until we get a major bearish breakout, technically, HiFi is and will be bullish. All right. So that's my take on HiFi for now. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.